everyone. Welcome back to the Peaceful Ben Vineyard blog. I'm Katie and I'm here to answer your wine related questions. And this week's question I actually got last weekend while I was teaching classes at YMCA's Trout Lodge in Potosi, Missouri. And Carolyn asked me uh, what her options were if she happened to break apart the cork on her bottle when she was removing the cork, how to recap that bottle. So I wanted to kind of go over the different options. And the first thing is that if your cork is in good condition, you can just simply slip that back, back in. That's a great option. Um, but maybe you're having a party too and you want to be a little more festive. Artisans of all kinds do these neat little decorative type toppers. This is a local guy here in Steelville. He's a wood turner. And, um, you know, these are fun for parties and things. The only thing with this is I wouldn't rely on these to actually completely seal your bottle. So you wouldn't want to put this bottle back in the fridge on its side because I don't think it's a good seal for that. But just to kind of top it off and look fun, uh, these are a great option. And you can find so many different uh, artists that are doing stoppers like that. Another good option are uh, what we call a tea top. It's just a little plastic topper with a little piece of cork underneath. You see these a lot in port and sherry bottles, but they make good options for uh, sealing off your bottle. This is a complete seal, so once, that, once that's in there, um, you know, it seals off your bottle. It's a little harder to pull in and out, so if you have some strength issues, you might want to stay away from this, but it is a good and very inexpensive option. Uh, so if you do have strength issues, I've got a couple of options here for you. Uh, this topper is, I don't know what it's called, but they're available at a lot of different wine stores. There's a lot of different looks to these, but they all operate on the same basic principle. Basically, you just pull up on the lever and you pull this out. And you can see there's this little white band, hopefully you can see that. But a little white band on here that expands when you push down on the lever when it's in the bottle. So all you have to do is slip that down in the bottle. It's very easy to do that. And then push down on that lever. Very easy to push down on that too. So that's a great option if you have some strength issues. And those will probably run you around uh, 3 to $5, depending on how fancy they are. Then I have, uh, in the, our sales room, what I carry are these um, twist-up cork stoppers. They're very easy. They're made out of rubber. And uh, you get the bottom wet and I'll just twist and push. Very, very easy. Very inexpensive, too. These cost uh, usually less than $2. And as you can see, you just push to, or twist and push, and then to pull out, you just twist and pull. Very, very easy, inexpensive. They come in a lot of different colors. Not quite as, I think, classy looking as this uh, style stopper, but that might not matter to you. <laughs> so anyways, those are the options that I wanted to share with you for recapping your bottle after you've opened it. And as usual, if you have any wine-related questions for me, please leave them in the comment section here at PeacefulBend.com or you can email them to me at winery at PeacefulBend.com. So thanks for joining me this week and I'll see you next week. Bye.